What's going on YouTube, JitterXNY here, coming at y'all with a brand new video, and if you're like me and you were recently having issues playing Rainbow Six Siege for instance, and having IPv6 connectivity issues where it says no network access, looks something like this, let me, let's go, we'll go face cam, we'll get off big face cam here in a second, but... If you've been having issues connecting to IPv6 or connecting to Rainbow Six Siege where you get this really long error code and you're not able to play with your friends, you're not able to connect to casual or ranked matches, you may be able to play just a plain terrorist hunt by yourself um, like I was, but anything with like playing with other people, it just doesn't work then this is the video you need to watch. I'm gonna teach you how to fix it. It's super simple. You don't have to buy anything. Um, just follow what I do here and you can learn how to set up your IPv6 through your router and that's what I'm gonna show you. So let's get into the video. All right, so over here on Google, I don't have, actually I do have some footage of what I'm talking about with the error code I will pull I will throw that in right now so you kind of know what I'm getting talking about roughly <laughs> I'm gonna try getting into a casual by myself if I can't right. it's me and if it is me I have no fucking clue how to fix it um you Same. uninstall the game install it again you <laughs> oh, oh wait, do nah. you have the game on, on steam yeah, but I'm not uninstalling it. I'll tell you no, that no, much. Try, 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 no, try verifying your game files. Yeah, I'm gonna do that if this doesn't work. Let me see if I can at least get into a cache. Nope, it's me. That's cool. I fucking hate this game. I really do. So yeah, as you can tell, not fun. If you're dealing with that, I feel your pain. I, I've, it's been like three days since I've played Siege. Absolutely one of the most frustrating things in the world. I'm gonna show you how to fix it right now though. So what you're gonna want to do first is find your default gateway. Most people's default gateway is 192.168.1.1. That this link right here, this page will be down in the description below. I'm gonna just put this as step one, and then this is actually my default gateway. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in real quick 192.168.1.1. Okay, you need to know your username and password. Most, <clears throat> most Netgear passwords or usernames and passwords are like username you uh password or user pass like there there's like a whole site if you look uh look it up to find your default username and password to try and log into your router um i can see if i can find that if i do i'll link it below if i can't i'm sorry but i do i do assure you that there is a site out there that has like all of them for the different makes and models of routers not just netgear so uh, definitely just use google to your advantage there um but yeah i'm just gonna log in real quick <clears throat> and so this is this is the back end of my router and then let me also real quick show you what i mean by the connectivity issues and how to identify if you are having these connectivity issues before you even go any further you're going to want to go down to network internet access and you're just going to want to right click open network sharing center I'll drag that over I have a dual monitor set up apologize about that it went on the other screen um, but you'll pull that up click on the internet and boom if you are having this issue you will see IPv6 connectivity no network access is what I believe it said and I'm gonna show you how to get that enabled I don't know why um, if this was enabled previously and it just randomly went out I don't know why it did but if it wasn't and it needed to be because of a new update on Rainbow Six Siege such as Grim Sky then this is how to fix it this is how to get it updated and yeah this is just for all the Siege players fuck you Ubi um, you guys should have put a phone number up or something this was definitely a hard fix but we got it and um, yeah let's continue going but uh as you see we did fix the problem 
Let's close out of this right now. Once you are in your router, if you are able to get in, like I said, find your default gateway, which I will leave this link. It actually tells you how to find that in your CMD. Um, I'm not going to go in that now. That's not what this video is about. But once you're in your back end, you're going to want to try and find your advanced if you have an advanced. Um, I have Netgear. All this stuff is going to have all your information on it. But what you're going to want is this advanced setup on the very at the very bottom if yours looks similar to mine and you're going to want to find the one that says IPv6. This is the newer protocol which they actually enabled and pushed recently in some of your firmware updates. So if you're like myself and you update your your router's firmware very frequently, then this is probably why you're having those issues as I assume some people with older firmware haven't updated to the new IPv6 so they're not really having this issue or they just are automatically connected I guess but um, what you're going to want to pretty much do is when it's not connected you won't have any of this filled in what you need is you're going to want to create a DHCP I'll put that on the screen a DHCP server or internet connection type my apologies and what you're going on what you're going to do is it's really simple once you collect uh, select that right up here um, all this stuff will be blank you won't see where where it's blurred out you won't see those numbers but you're gonna want to just leave um, get automatically from your internet service provider and then you're gonna auto config it as well that way you don't even have to set up any of that stuff you don't it just automatically is set up through your ISP most likely depending on what internet service you pay for this is all based on performance at the end of the day and this is a new protocol system so depending on how old your router is what internet service provider you go through and, and how much you actually pay them for for your internet bill that all is is a, a definite factor of whether you can even set this up or not but if you do have the option this is how you do it and and once it's set up all you're gonna want to do is click apply make sure you click apply and and once you do it'll it'll do some things in an update and then you're just gonna want to go to speed test once you're connected and you see that down there and you're just gonna want to test your connection and and see that you're getting what you're supposed to this is around what I'm supposed to be getting I'm supposed to get like 130 135 right now and 129.9 isn't bad with a with around the 10 uploads so this is a little disappointing but uh, you know what I'm not worried about that I'm at least able to play my games now I'm able to have my full usage of my internet again and and be on the newer protocol that, that they want so if this video helped you definitely make sure you leave a fat like button leave a comment below telling me what's up and, and if this helped you if this didn't I'm sorry I'm I'm no wizard here I, I troubleshoot my own problems as they come and this was something that was just very aggravating and I wanted to help all, any and all of you that are having some issues as well so if this did definitely leave a fat like and subscribe I'm gonna be posting Rainbow Six videos and streaming Rainbow Six quite often so if, if you want to watch me play and possibly squad up with me definitely subscribe and follow my twitch which will be linked below as well that'll be it in this video I hope it helped peace